This week, guys, we are set to pull all sorts of boxes and hopefully have a bunch of rewards to give away on the Zero to Hero series this week as we set up to not just compete in the Premier League and with Champion Europe with the strategy we've got going on here, but with the Mbappe competition being open and also being free to play, I really fancy our chances to pull a bunch of boxes this week to do a bit of a giveaway on the Zero to Hero series next week. In the video today, we'll be previewing all your scouting recommendations as well for the Champion Europe Limited we should be bringing in, as well as bringing in that Premier League Limited that you guys suggested and voted on last week and to get involved in the giveaway for this week's video I need those suggestions in the comment section for the challenger region those guys are under a fiver ideally under a pound that can be our challenger zero to help us get all the way to the top of the mountain and bag a hero at any point in the video if you do laugh you learn you like something or whatever please do like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you are brand new to so rare and you haven't even opened up your account yet this is a great video for beginners to see how the lay of the land is how you cut your teeth in the so5 arena how you really learn to play the game and if you click on the link that's in the description of this video to open up your account you'll get 50 dollars pounds euros whatever your currency is of market credit to go out and reinforce your squad after you've bought five cards of any price from auction or instant buy if you do get stuck or if you need any questions answered jump into the comment section and i'll come and sort you out and uh yeah let's just get stuck straight into it Now, I did a video on the channel earlier this week. It'll have a counterpart come out next week where we're looking at the best way to get the 400 points across the line to get one of those raffle tickets for the Mbappe competition. So, for Zero to Hero, I basically just copied and pasted it. I made a different choice of captain. I'm going to captain Palmer on this one. And again, guys, if this pulls anything, this is get given away to you guys. That's the whole purpose of this alt account, as it were. So... Uh, cheering these guys on Captain Palmer over Musiala if it pulls a box if it does even get a raffle ticket and anything that comes of that you guys will be recipients of that you guys will be the ones winning it but I'm I'm quite strongly um, confident on the five that I've selected to copy and paste it and you'll see this be a bit of a, a bit of a reoccurring theme across the game week for the Premier League um, again a lot of these guys were quite close to making the reckoning for the Mbappe competition so this uh, competition uh, kind of picked itself quite easily but as you can see there guys the person that won the poll last week to be our premier league zero that we're going to try and win better cards give those other cards away in due course until we end up with a star a stud a hero is going to be daniel munoz and by the way guys what a great week to pick him up in because he's at home in leicester city in a game that an attacking fullback like him could hit one of those peak scores that we can see that he can offer alongside the man city midfield duo Emmy Martinez at home to Everton, Salah at home to Forest. This feels like a really good team. And I think between both of these guys, we could be pulling boxes again this week. But when we look at champion, we're still waiting on the Gundahan winner claiming their prize. So I just thought I'd put him in this team anyway. He's probably going to come off the bench. There's a really high, ch you know, there's a really high chance he's coming off the bench. And then who knows how well he does. But you can see that consistent Mbappe level team kind of bleed throughout here in champion europe so between the five entries we've got here honestly i would love us to pull five boxes but we also have a bit of rivals action on the go this weekend we're still clinging on to this one out of three win streak and i'm going to try and unlock this on the friday night with this borussia dortmund team going tiki taka it feels like it could be built to kill they're at home at heidenheim and this should be goals galore and you know with the passing stats hopefully going in the favour for the likes of Schlotterbeck and Pascal Gross especially then this could be the tactic to go with and with me going to the Celtic game this weekend I think an easy plug in and play opportunity to try and get to the 3 one streak would be to back the hoops here and it's quite a tough one actually the way the cap shakes out I'm going to go for Gegen pressing and I've just worked out to have Taylor, a double midfield, and a Dyson in here. So, wish us luck, and hopefully, we can get some of these boxes cracked open while we're at it. And I've got to admit, guys, the suggestions that came through this week to be our zero for Champion Europe did come in at a lot of different price points. And the top four that we've got for you guys to vote on, the poll for this is on my YouTube channel homepage. If you click on the community tab, or even in your subscription feed, you might even just see the poll there. I need you to vote for who do you think is the best zero, the best value for money to come in and be our champion zero to take us 
on that journey up to winning a hero, up to winning a star. Uh, the very first contender we've got in here is Frederick Gilbert, who is a fullback for Lecce. 29 years of age, he's got very good averages across his last 5 and 15 games. He can play left back and a, a wee bit on the right as well. His floor price at the moment for Classic is 36p, which is absolutely incredible. And this guy for 36p, by the way, touches the sides. He does the job and I think he would be a very good zero for us to bring in here. A guy though that will maybe frustrate and disappoint us a little bit more often than we would like, but he's definitely got that potential to surprise and delight, as uh, so I love to say. Um, I was not surprised to see this guy feature at all, and I really sincerely do hope he wins, and that is Teje Savernier, the 32-year-old, the streets won't forget, fantasy football hero, goat legend, whatever you want to call him. His L5 is pretty shocking at the moment, and his limited cards are circa 10, 11, 12 quid at the moment, and if you don't know Teje, then you better get to know Teji because, again, they might disappoint us once in a while. He does play for Montpellier, but regularly he can smash, he can deliver, and he's a guy even at common level we might be selecting on the Zero to Hero series quite often. So for like £10, £11, he's a wee bit over the budget, but like again, Champion Europe, there's not that much talent below a fiver, to be honest with you, that you could really, really hang on to. I think the guys did well with all the suggestions. But when I seen Teji was in there, I was like, we have to include him in the top four. Alongside, again, a guy in a very similar mould, a very similar um, ilk of player, of course, is Max Arnold, who, again, a bit of a streets won't forget fantasy football hero and legend. His floor price at classic level is under £2. Now, Wilsberg have been shocking for the last, last little while. But Max Arnold has started this season pretty damn strongly. Two games already, 18-14 all around. He's got some decisive here against hosting Kiel, of course, which has pushed him up to an 84. And Max Arnold has got that in his locker. The thing that's held him back is Wolfsburg have been really mince over the last couple of years. But if the way they've started this season is anything to go by, we might be on to getting some vintage Max Arnold again. And for under £2, I think he would be a fantastic zero to add in. Now, he is Bundesliga capable as well, but we don't have those... Bundesliga modes available for this Zero to Hero series so he's a guy that we would be playing in Champion Europe there is no option to slide him in to the Bundesliga um, and again this guy's featured on the channel already this year I think he's on for I think he's really coming of age this year he's really maturing and it's not going to be long before you see him linked to the good and the great of the Premier League no doubt and that is Angel Gomez Angel Gomez whatever you want to call him he's under 23 still but he is 24 years of age Really good averages. He did suffer a bit of a head knock last time we spoke about him on the channel, but he's since recovered and he's actually been, you know, impressing for England, would you believe it? So I think this is a guy that is going to go from strength to strength this year. The scoring potential on him is there to be seen. And for a classic card, again, under a fiver, I think this is a guy that's got a lot of room for growth, has got a lot of potential to help us win better cards so we can then give the likes of this guy away to you guys. And then we can use the better cards to win an even better card and then give those cards away to you guys, all the rest of it. Angel Gomez does feel like one of those guys that could be the beginning of our journey. So between Angel Gomez, Max Arnold, Teji Savernier and Frederick Gilbert, I think we've got a nice uh, collection of players to, to vote on this week. And any one of these would be a very worthy zero to add in. Uh, to the Zero to Hero series. So really looking forward to seeing who you guys vote for over the weekend for this one. And then the last thing we need to do in the Zero to Hero series is find out who won the limited Isaac Romero. So thanks to everyone that dropped their comments on the last video. One of you guys is going to win a card right here, right now. And get into the comment section in this one. I want zero suggestions. Guys, it costs a five or less ideally in the challenger and the contender region over the next few episodes that'll become a lot easier than i think it is in champion but if you want to be involved in the giveaway for the next video get into the comment section i want a guy from challenger ideally european challenger that's a fiver or less ideally a pound or less would be absolutely magic but the winner this week of the isaac romero from the zero to hero episode 2 comment section is the suspense is killing me Uri Falakalv, I said that properly, and he nominated Manor Solomon, who's not a champion player, but thanks for the suggestion, thanks for the contribution. Good luck to you this weekend, wish the Zero to Hero series some good luck as well, so we've got some boxes to open, some more stuff to give away as well, and uh, we'll be back next week for the next episode of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, on screen and now some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Stay out of trouble, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.